close by. I've lived around Rutland, Vermont all my life. I'm a, you know, my parents are native Vermonters. I got drafted, I went in the service, uh, came back out, and then I had problems with uh, post-traumatic stress disorder. When you bottom out, either you stay there or you come up. And I came up and it was my miracle. And that's how basically I've gotten to where I am now. I've learned things like uh, doing Reiki, uh, learning to breathe during panic attacks. I got away from a desire for cocaine, alcohol, and to this day and age, I've never had an urge for either one. I, that was my miracle. It kind of ignited in me uh, a desire to find a better, a better way. And doors began to open. I found Reiki. Well, that's how I met Lori. She's probably one of the most amazing people I've ever met because she's learned a healing method, but that's not enough. There's more out there. She's constantly growing, which makes her a fantastic person, a fantastic healer. You know, I'm, I'm just totally in awe of her. I think what I like most about her, she's her compassion. You know, it's genuine. I mean, she looks at you and she feels you and she says, well, how can I help you the best way I can? And she dedicates herself during her sessions. And if you've never had one, you should, because it's like somebody taking a, a battery, a car jumper, you know, a battery, and they clamp onto the battery, you know, and that's what it's like being like being worked on by Lori. It's just that, whoa, see, <laughs> you know? <laughs> so um, I'm just uh, to, to make it short and sweet, I'm, I'm just amazed by the lady. I really am. And she's my good friend. And I'm just glad that she uh, lets me uh, in on her on her spiritual journey. <laughs>